All right, what's going on everyone? It's Josh here from Crypto Busy, and today we've got a pretty crazy video. We just had a massive market crash. We saw Bitcoin come from 19,500 down to 16,000 in not a long space of time. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys a trade I just took uh, for a Bitcoin short position. I'm gonna be showing you the charts and we'll be going over what you guys can do right now to stay profitable in this time and make sure you're not losing money in a time like this. Uh, if you do enjoy this kind of video and you do find it useful, please leave a like on the video, it really helps us out. And on top of that, uh, subscribe to the channel for more because we've just hit 50,000 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. Thanks for everyone that uh, has uh, subscribed and uh, here's to 100,000, that's the next milestone. So. Uh, thanks for that guys and also go to our Twitter right now and you can see our pinned comment is actually a Q&A style comment and uh, Tom and I are going to be making a Q&A style video very soon uh, where we answer most of your questions. So go ahead, go over there, give us a follow, comment there which, uh, which things you want to know about us or crypto or anything and uh, we'll be sure to answer them shortly. But yeah guys, we're going to get straight into the video, hope you enjoy and also let me know what you think about this uh, face style thing at the beginning. Let me know if it makes a difference, just trying it out. But anyway, let's get into the video. So it seems we haven't hit that 20K Bitcoin that we've all been waiting for, unfortunately. However, that being said, uh, it doesn't really put me off too much because we did hit an all-time high pretty much of around 19.5K, or at least we revisited the highs of uh, 2017. And that's something really important to note, guys. We have come pretty much full circle. And for those of you that have been in crypto for the same amount of time as myself or Tom, uh, you know, a few years now, we, we've seen some stuff, right? We've been through crypto winter, as you'd call it, or you know, the bear market. Uh, we've been through this two year long bear period where we were literally just trying to find any ways of making money because Bitcoin was just going down or being stagnant. Altcoins weren't really popping off as much as they are. Um, but we made it through. We held, we hodled, as you know, people would say. And uh, now we are back here where we want to be. But unfortunately, the price has gone down to 17.2k and we actually saw the price drop down to around 16k earlier this morning. Now, I was going to put out a video a bit earlier because I literally just made a trade, um, but I, I thought I'd hold off a little bit uh, till just later so we could actually see a more of a reaction to the crash. So let's just have a look at the market prices right now. So we've got Bitcoin, of course, at about $17,200. We got Ethereum at 507, which really sucks because we were over that $600 mark. And as you all know, my target for Ethereum is kind of around the $800 mark. Uh, we have XRP, which has taken a massive hit, unfortunately. Uh, it's back down at 52 cent after almost hitting 80 cent the other day. Um, we've actually got an XRP video coming later today, so definitely stay tuned for that. Um, it's, it's quite an extravagant one. It's about whether $25 XRP is possible, so stay tuned for that. That's uh, Tom's, Tom's video later. Uh, we've got Chainlink down at $12.50, which is annoying because it was at like $16 or something. But yeah, things are, you know, they are what they are. Stellar, unfortunately, down at $0.16 cent after, I believe, hitting $0.22 cent or something crazy. We do have this crash to deal with, though. And as the title suggests, I'm going to be sharing some things with you that I've learned throughout the years of how we can profit from these times and how we can stay calm and uh, hodl and also maybe pick up some more cryptocurrency along the way. On top of that, uh, we got 11% down overall in the global crypto market cap. Um, but I do still think we're on the up and up and we are going to eventually reach that $1 trillion market cap. Um, so let's go over some charts right now. Now, the first thing you'll notice is the trade that I've taken. So this was the entry point for me was around $18,680. And uh, I exited the trade at $16,200, making a very nice profit. Actually, this one was one of my most profitable trades in the last couple of weeks, actually, because uh, such a tight stop loss and such a big reward target. Now, I'm going to quickly walk you through the reasons why I took this trade. And also, uh, if a lot of you are new to uh, leverage trading, for example, margin trading, uh, some of you might be wondering how I made money when the market went down. Um, but obviously, if you're traders, you'll you'll know. But let's get into my reasoning, well, my explanation behind this. Well, you see we have key levels, right? Of course, my key level strategy that I talk about in pretty much every single video. Um, we've got these levels that I've marked out through do using different time frames. In fact, I did a video yesterday called How to Identify Key Levels. So you can go and check that out and you can actually see how I came to the conclusion of doing all of these levels where they are and how they've held up so well. Um, but basically, this key level for me, 19.2K to 19.5K, that has always to me been a clear, clear level. And look at this, this is textbook, right? We hit it, we came right back down and we hit it. And for those of you that are familiar traders, you'll know this is called a double top where price comes up, hits it once, comes down for a bit and then hits it again. Uh, and then there's like a high probability that it's going to come down after that. 
So I waited for confirmation. I waited for this uh, bearish close. This is the four hour chart. I did go down to the one hour chart to execute. Uh, and what you'll see is I, I actually saw this. So I entered around here. Um, I saw this little push up and then I set a order below here. So it was going to take me into the trade uh, at around yeah, $18,700. So it did that. I set my stop loss above this key area here and uh, I targeted my lows of $16,250. And look at that. It was pretty much a perfect hit. We came right down, touched it, and then we wicked up and then went up again. So yeah, very, very profitable trade. Very happy that I made that. And for those of you wondering, how did I make money with the market going down? Well, like I said, this is called uh, leverage trading or spot trading, right? This is where you trade the value without actually owning it. So I never owned Bitcoin for this trade. I didn't buy Bitcoin and then sell it. I just traded the value. I kind of bet on it going down and then they paid me for uh, it going down, right? For being right. So I used Bybit. Bybit is the best place to trade uh, leverage or margin on uh, on cryptocurrency, in my opinion. I use this every single day, uh, and you can make some great profits. Of course, be very careful if you're new. This is leverage trading. Uh, I have a complete guide to leverage trading if you need need more help. But uh, you can use the link down in the description to go on to Bybit, sign up, and you get a deposit bonus. Really good stuff uh, just for signing up and uh, depositing under the link using the code. So that is how I made money going down. And yes, it was a very profitable trade. And I hope you guys understand my reasoning there. And I hope that helps and you learn something. But now it's all well and good saying, hey, look, guys, I made a trade. But that's not what the video is for. Now we are going to go on to what, guy, what can you guys do? And uh, should you be worried or should you be fearful or should you start buying? Well, in my opinion, it's always good to dollar cost average. And that's how I've always bought my Bitcoin pretty much. Uh, with some exceptions and what for dollar cost averaging is for you guys that don't know basically it is buying the same amount a fixed amount um, of dollar cost so for example let's say i want to buy 500 dollars of bitcoin every single month and then over 12 months at the, let's say on the 20th every single month it will buy you 500 dollars of bitcoin right and uh, you can do this on coinbase i believe and some other places and essentially that will give you a nice average price of Bitcoin across the year that you buy it rather than getting it at one price and hoping it goes up rather than down. So I've always thought that's a great idea. So, you know, if you are doing that, now would be a good time probably to pick some up. Again, remember, this is not financial advice, but this is a very, very interesting to see uh, thing to see, which is because we come down, we touch this key level and we've wicked right back up. There's no body here anymore, which means people are obviously buying up, buying up, buying up from this level. And uh, if we see a nice bullish candle turn around here, so let's say we have a nice bullish engulfing candle here, I'm going to be buying straight back up to uh, 19k. Now, that is pretty much all there is on that. Let's go into the one hour chart and have a look here. So again, we are still in a downtrend and I do think you guys should be very careful and uh, I'm going to show you why. So if we turn off the key levels real quick and we turn on the moving averages, you can see we're actually crossing down below the 200 period moving average and you can see we've been above it for so so long since 8th of october and uh, now is the first time crashing down below it which means we could be in for a bit of a bearish turn um, now we need to wait and see if the 50 period which is the blue line comes down below as well then i will be kind of a bit bearish but for now you know we will have to just wait and see and hope it is just a, a small correction well not so small but you know what i mean um, with altcoins, things are going to be a little more violent and volatile, so just be very careful. I'm going to focus mostly on Bitcoin and Ethereum um, for myself just in the, these times because altcoins are all over the place right now. But uh, this is what I think for, for Bitcoin. I think just be careful, maybe dollar cost average in, uh, you know, don't be greedy, don't be too fearful either. Just uh, do what you can afford to do. And uh, at the same time, we can go into the four hour chart and you can see we are still above that 200 period moving average and we haven't actually gone below the uh, the 50 yet. So we could easily see a turnaround on the four hour. I'm going to be watching this as the main the kind of directional time frame. So definitely keep an eye on the four hour chart for Bitcoin. Very, very important stuff there. Now let's get onto Ethereum and check out kind of some, some similar things here. So of course, a very similar type thing. I didn't actually make a trade I was going to, but I didn't quite do it in the end. Uh, these are the key levels I have for Ethereum. We can get rid of these minor ones now. But you can see things have held up pretty well. My key level of $620 was respected. We came down, we broke through 550, and we touched my key level of 489. Uh, so like I said, these key level strategies, guys, are golden. I'm telling you, please go back and watch my video yesterday about it because you will learn a lot, I hope. <laughs> um, 
And yeah, so this is going to be really, really key to see what happens at this point. I'm not going to be buying, I'm not going to be selling, I'm going to be waiting uh, to see what happens. Like I said, we are still in a very violent downtrend. Um, you can see, I mean, you can't really even draw a trend line, it's so violent. But what I, want, what I really want to see is things turn around and see a higher low. So for example, uh, let me just try and illustrate this quickly. So I'd like to see things come up here, break through this previous high. I would like to see things come back down and then go up like that. And for me, then that's the beginning of an uptrend and that's what we like to see. So uh, that's what I'm going to be go looking out for on Ethereum. Uh, it's pretty similar with Bitcoin as well. So I would say keep your eyes on it. Don't necessarily buy into anything right now unless you have the spare capital to do so. But if things have a bullish turn at this key level of $480 for Ethereum and at the key level of $16,250 for Bitcoin, then that's where we can see a really nice turnaround and some really nice profits coming back up to those highs. Now, for Ethereum, as you know, I've talked about this many times before, my next major target is $800. So once we break through $600, it's a pretty straight shot for me to go to $800. So if things do come back up here and we break above $620, you better believe I'm going to be buying a ton of Ethereum and I'll probably make a video called why I bought a ton of Ethereum <laughs> um, and so stay tuned for that if it does happen uh, but yeah guys I think that is pretty much it for Bitcoin and Ethereum I hope that helped I hope you learned something um, and I hope you now know what to look out for so just to recap quickly and I'll keep saying it but recap turn on your 50 20 and 200 EMAs mark your key levels and you can copy mine if you want and uh, go for it and just literally wait for a reversal pattern, wait for things to come back up, and then that's when I'm more confident. Yes, you might miss out on some potential gains, but at least then you're going in with confidence rather than, oh, I don't know whether it's gonna go up or down. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a like, and let me know what you thought of the uh, kind of face style at the beginning. Did it help? Did it bring anything new to the video? If not, let me know, um, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Really appreciate you guys. And um, with that, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.